time for story time. a nice group we have here for story time and as our pastor Ricky mentioned today is the fifth Sabbath of the month and we get to have haystacks, haystacks and also story time gets to be longer I don't know if he knew that or not but today our text is from Isaiah Isaiah chapter 8 verse and a lot of people know this. It says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Today, sometimes it's hard to tell what is real and what is not real. What is true and what's false. What is counterfeit and what is uh, not counterfeit. And that, sometimes it's hard to tell those things. But we know that we have our senses. We can see and we can hear and that. And my wife and I happened to be watching on TV a program and where the people bake cakes. How many people here like cake? Anybody like cake? Oh, even some of the kids don't like cake. That's amazing. Well, how many people here have baked a cake before? Ooh. Well, in this program, they would bake cakes that would look like something, and then they had judges that had to decide which was real. Maybe they made books, or flowers, or suitcases, and the judges would have to see which one was real. Now, what the judge would do, he would take a knife, Ooh. and they would pick out which one they thought was real, and he would Cut it, and sometimes it didn't cut. They made a mistake. Other times they would cut the cake, and they know that which one was real, which was not. Well, you know what? I don't bake cakes very good. And if I made a cake, you probably wouldn't be fooled at all. So I went to Publix, and I bought something at Publix. And I want you to think about it. Now, you, you just have to see. You can't come touch. You can't come any closer. That's what the judges are. You just have to look and see, and see if you think which one is real. Now, they both have stickers on them. Remember at Publix, they have little stickers that ding, and pay for it. Well, I put, I put a sticker on both of them. Mm -hmm. So now, let's see what we have here. We have two apples. Yes. <laughs> Aren't they nice looking apples? They're supposed to be cosmic crisp apples. Those are good. Those are good apples. So what do you think? Do you think number one apple or number two apple is real? What do you think is real? Okay, what do you think? Number one, we have a difference of opinions. Oh, some people are closer. Maybe you're closer. What? You think number one. So we have number two and number one. Well, they both look real, don't they? Well, let's put it to the test. Okay. Let's first try number two. Since you, number two first. Let's see. Let's see, what about number two? Oh, look at this. Oh, it was the real one. Ooh, so sometimes our eyes can deceive us, can't they? Yeah, what about our ears? Okay. I have three coins here. You may not have seen these before because they were made over a hundred years ago in 1921. Ooh, three coins. Are they real coins? Well, they sure look good, don't they? Except this one's kind of, I don't know, tarnished, yeah. But these two look pretty nice here, okay? And they have a lady on the front, okay, rubs in Liberty, and an eagle on the back, okay? So how can you tell? They, they, they feel whatever, they can feel whatever. So what do you think we should do? Let's use our ears, okay? Let's see this one here. Now, 
this here. Now, something that's real coin, it has a nice, pretty sound, and it sounds a long time, so let's see. Yep, wrong side of the stick here. What do you think? That's a nice, pretty sound. That's how long it's still going. I don't know if you can clear here. Yeah, okay, well, that sounds pretty good. Okay, what should we try? Let's try this other one here. This one looks just the same. Let's try and see what you think with this one here. <laughs> Doesn't last for long. But then, let's see this other one. This other one's kind of tarnished, dirty, worn. It doesn't look very good, does it? Let's check on it. Let's see what it does. So we really couldn't tell how it looked, could we? It's still ringing. Couldn't tell. It, you remember, God, he looks at the heart, doesn't he? He doesn't look on the outside. He looks at the heart and the inside. So I have a, a pad here, and we have iPhones and stuff, and we have all kinds of information, don't we? How do we know that it's true? We can't always tell by the looks. I can't really hear it. In fact, even if you couldn't hear very good, I have an app on my phone that will listen and it'll tell you whether it's good or not. Isn't that interesting? So what do we have to depend on? We have to depend on the Bible, the Word of God. That's the only thing we can tell. We can't just depend only on our eyes, only on our ears and that, because sometimes we can be deceived. We have to depend on the Word of God. Fortunately, you all have good parents. You can depend on them, but as you get older, we need to remember to depend on the Word of God. Okay. So does anyone have prayer for us? Okay, I'll have prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you've done for us, giving us our senses, but we know that in this world we also have to depend on you and the Word that you have given us to know what is good and what is right. Amen. You may go back to your seat. And... Unfortunately, special music had some complications. So, we are going to be special music.